Good day, mate. Um, after yesterday's chainsaw torch test, the 36 inch bar, I thought I'd do some research and find out do these saws, the uh, G272, come up with an adjustable oil pump? So, like most um, research I do, it's public stuff, so uh, we went for YouTube and I go for eBay. The reason being, eBay, um, if they sell lies, people don't buy. Um, that's to tell the truth. And about probably, I don't know, 10 ads in, um, one of them actually showed a picture. It outlined there's an adjustable screw um, in this way. So you can't get it from underneath. So I'm going to pull this cover off and have a look. If it is adjustable, I'll try and go back and do one cut again. So I can be fair to the saw. Because that's the problem you see. It needs more oil. So I'll set you back up. Okay, I've just pulled the bar and chain off. Haven't looked yet. Try and set you up. All I can say is guys, get to know your saws from my saw, not my brand. So it's sort of hard sometimes. And some of these Chinese saws don't have um, uh, arrows and stuff to indicate which way they go. It's just surprising. Because you need an oil pump, it's vital. So on the picture, all I could see, oh, there is there. But just here, There's a plastic lug, so I'll get close to that. Supposedly, this is the oil pump adjuster. So I'll scrape away the dirt and see if it's on max or it's on low. I think it's the adjuster. And a, um, a picture of 1 to 4 on the um, eBay ad. No, screw. I find it a bit silly. Is it the adjuster or not? I'm a bit silly, you can't get access to it underneath. It looks like a screw, but on the ad, adjuster. What is this, sir? Oh, here it is, I can see it. Yes, I'll saw it. Other side. So just under here. That one there. Yeah, that's better. So that's your oil adjuster just there. So has it got a number on it to say what it's sitting on? Can't tell this one. And of course it's hard to get at. Oh, it doesn't want to move, but I'm going to clean up and try and find out what's on, what's up. I'll get back to the ad. Find out what the numbers are, which way they go. Not quite sure. All right, I'll go back to the ad and have a look at the numbers and come back. Okay, um, I'll just zoom you a bit. I had a look at the um, eBay ad and the line. For the oil pump, sitting by factory sits here, and it indicates on the um, ad that three is on this side, two, and there's one, and there's four facing down. So I'm going to turn it down to four. I'm assuming that's the way it's meant to be, but I don't like the way you can't get a screwdriver straight to it. So I'll pull the clutch off, and um, I think I can pull off here if I'm pouring it. But um, pull the clutch off and see how tight it is. At least left hand thread. To turn right to undo it, it says it off there. You just pop off. But like tight. Now I'm going to have to do it the hard way, which is drilling down the spark plug hole. This saw I've updated with a, um, a late model lump, or a better model lump, if you will, so more of a, a fabric one. Poor saw. The all they had before was like a plastic tea bag. Not good at all. I didn't like it. Yes, it'll give you more power, but let's crap into the motor. Make some motor. Twist your spark plug quite a few times before you try and pull it. Because you pull the um, guts out of the spark plug holder. 
We got this delay. Use that in mind, which is done like this. You have to rub a melt. Easy. What color we got? So nice brown color. She's running the right mixture. So I'll get some rope and undo this clutch. We got my special painted solo um, pull starter cord. So, God knows how many years old this thing is. It's from the 60s, way um, early 70s. Now, I've already turned the motor over so that um, the piston's coming up. Because you don't want to push your rope through the exhaust and cut the rope and damage things. So be careful. So the piston's almost all, almost all the way to the top. Push in a fair bit. It's quite heavy gauge rope because I want the whole thing to be stopped. That one's up there. So now it should undo. If it doesn't, I'm in trouble. Oh, battery lock tight. That's good stuff. Oh, I'm gonna have to use a big shifter, I think. Wow. All right, I'll have to get off. Well, let's try and undo this the old fashioned way. Um, for an impact drive and stuff, let's just do it this way. So, a big rubber melt, make sure everything's in nice and tight. I'm using an impact um, um, socket. So you got one hex, so it's clean. Try to hold your finger on the socket so I can't jump off. It's not going to get sores of this. I'll hang on the clutch like that. You get a whack. How that came off, hopefully. A little bit more than the electric one. Let's try the electric now, it should pop off. This one's sore, doesn't have very good base. Oh, the battery's flat. No, that's full charge. No, nope. still have to find a way to get this thing off. Right, more of a whack. Must get one of me, keep daddy to hold the, the socket for me. Yeah, I'll do everything at once. Wash off. So you're doing it by hand like this, you can break your AV to an ounce. Yeah, I'm mostly the kids out here hand the saw and all that stuff. It does not want to let go. I don't want to break nothing at all. One more time, whack it. No, that's on tight. Frustrates me. It shouldn't be like that. It should be able to service things. But they do it so you don't um, rev and the clutch comes off. And you know, I've had my clutch come off. Need me face, you know, almost hit me in the face. Do one last time. No, I'd say I must wore it on. I hope this. I don't break the crank. No. Time to get the kids. Alright, next step, kids. <laughs> Alright. All right, let's try to get this off her so my daughter, she helped me out. So she's gonna hold it down. I'll hold the socket on this hard as I can. I got my biggest rubber mallet I've got. I'll give it a good out of almighty whack. No. Got some tight. Might have to get a longer bar, I think. God, that's just stupid. 
All right, um, my ear one won't work. I'll see a longer bar. All right, I'll get a longer bar. All right, now I've got a longer bar, longer um, leverage point. And then coming back, I don't want to hit things with my hands. Go back a bit, Ursula. Yeah, we can still see. All right, bye bye, Jackie. I want to bring this up. Off a um a G two so a two eight eight. Uh, it says your focus. You see, um, it says positions. I'm just there. Um, where the oil can be. Um, two, three, four. But then it says warning. Do not um the warning. The engine must be running to make adjustments. The shape taking the clutch off to do it. So. I'm going to take the clutch off because I can't get access to it. There's no hole for the clutch itself, so the only clear way to do it is take the clutch off. So that's that book for that. That's a Chinese made one, so. And this is a Chinese made, so I'll do what the book says. If in doubt, read. I like to read small stuff, but I like to read small stuff. Alright. Make a Down, do it and break it. Oh, that's crazy. Once you go to me, mate, it would be a bigger um, impact driver. I think that's like not liking that at all. All right, guys, that's why I don't use those piston stoppers. They don't work. All right, I've changed. I put more rope in the cylinder more, as much as I can. Um, I'm going to change the battery, and the battery fine. It's got um, three lights, but it's four amp. Now, I haven't noticed with these um, drills and stuff, sometimes more amp is usually a bit more power, so I'll try the a six amp. Let's see what it does. Just come in. Oh, the clutch wants to come off. That's not good. Now yeah, the rig is a clutch. Okay. Now oh, it's hot. At least I've got it off. Yeah, that's tight. Well, I thought I'd show you guys how these things get done. So that's come off. So I have to put it back on there. It's not easy either. A lot of pulling with vice grips. I don't really want to show that because it's a pain in the ass to film. So, yeah. That happens, guys. I should show, but you put one where I do it. You put one um, one third in the the vice on the bench, another vice clamp here, and another vice clamp, and pull them onto this part here. That's the easiest way I find. Yeah, like that. Put in the vice like that, and pull it over onto this actual backing plate. But you gotta be careful not to break the backing plate. So I think they design these things so you break them. So you have to do it. Right, there's all the bits and pieces. Always look at it, inspect it, see so which way it came and all that. Okay, so washer. Uh, bearing, washer, and big washer. That's where I went. And just here. Just there's the oil pump adjuster. And there's no numbers there at all. So they say you've got to run the saw. So I want to put that, um, instead of 3 o'clock, I want it at 6 o'clock. 
And then we get four, and then we get more oil. And it's a clockwise. Oh, let's watch that too. If I start this up. Alright, guys, I'll catch you later. Alright, so I just pulled that um, big there washer out. And there's another wash under here as well. Uh, can that come out? Why come out because of the dry pumps there? I'm going to turn the pump manually by hand. See what happens. Is it bigger? It's screwed off. There we go. So that's more pushing now. You can see it pump more too. Now I can do the 36 inch bar of test again. Alright, that's how I do, but I'll fix that clutch up now. I'm paying the bar. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Okay. okay, so these clutches are divided into three pieces. So one piece I've locked up with the vise, so you be careful not to go too hard. Find a flat spot, and you've got to have room for your um, your ribs or your, your skeleton for your clutch if it's in there. So put your vice grips opposite, basically, on the same sort of principle. Somewhere flat out of the road, because um, one part there, the one part this one here is locked, this one's free and this one is free. So hopefully I can move that around. You don't want to pop this off your pocket like it's flying. There's a big spring here. So maybe if I go like this. I need, need another bicycle. Hold that back a bit. If I'm strong enough. I think I'm strong enough. Maybe not. But that's the principle. If you have your mate, give me kind of vice grips, pull one side of the side and get that part back in. And that's the principle. But I'll have to do this another time. Thomas coming in the shed. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Okay, got on my door to help me. Um vice grips it on, popped on with a screwdriver. Um this spring here, I put that on the screwdriver and my daughter held it in the groove like that. Screwed it down. Why I put the screw off this side and popped it on and pushed the whole thing together. So now I can um, run it the way it should be. I'll put a pain in the butt. Alright guys, over and out.